Hi my friends. I didn't film an intro to this video, so I'm gonna do that really quick right now. But surprise! This is the look. <laughs> I got caught up in a text conversation and I, I can't I didn't film this. And I am now realizing that my face is like darker than my body, right? I'm not matching. But hi guys! How are you? <laughs> Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I am using a ton of new products today, the Encanto palette. Elf Power Grip Primer, and it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be great. I've already filmed it, so I know. And it is the start of many, many, many videos to come in 2022, because that is the theme of today's video, is good things for 2022. I have never wanted to leave anything in the past the way I wanna leave 2021, back there. I'm gonna write it down next to 2011 for worst year ever, writing it down. Big old stamp. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's what this video is. We're gonna do our makeup together, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm, and we're just gonna dive right in. Let's do that. What? This intro make... I'm sorry. Apparently somebody's building a house next door because that is the loudest construction I've ever heard. If you hear that, disregard. But okay, let's start with our primer. I actually asked you guys on Instagram, on my stories, which primer you wanted me to use. The new Smashbox Halo or the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, and we had an overwhelming response. You guys wanted the Power Grip Primer, and I think it's supposed to like mimic the Milk, what is the Milk Makeup Primer called? It's like the Super Grip, or something. That's not the name. But this looked so similar to me, and even just swatching it on the back of my hand, it felt extremely similar to the Milk Primer, which I know a lot of people loved, but it was breaking out like a ton of people. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen with this guy. Um, I didn't really feel like the milk makeup one broke me out much, but I got paranoid and I'm a hypochondriac, so I stopped using it. <laughs> I need to retry it <laughs> because I did really love how it made my makeup last. Hopefully this does the same. Okay, I don't have a new foundation to test out with you guys, so I'm just going to throw on my Il Maquillage foundation, but I am going to try this e.l.f. sponge that I just recently got in PR. I don't know what this is about. The bottom is like a little bit darker. I, I don't know. I'm sure there's some like technology behind that, but I I don't know. Let me go wet it really quick. Ooh, got mush mush big it. I think the bottom part has like a different material and it almost feels like it holds more water than the rest of the sponge. Like it feels more wet down here. Don't say it. Michael Scott, don't say it. That's what she said. That, that sound, <laughs> I hate that sound. So guys, I need to know, how was your um, holiday vacation? Or how was your holiday? For those of you who celebrate Christmas, how was your Christmas? How was your New Year's? Please, please, please leave me a comment down below. I really wanna know, because I know this year was really, really, really rough for a lot of us. And please tell me if I'm the only one. Is it just me, but it kind of feels like 2021 was even worse than 2020. At least for me, I know that 2020 was like a big, massive, huge change for, for so many of us and it changed so many people's lives with like the pandemic and everything going on. But I almost feel like it didn't hit me or it didn't really start to affect me, like the change and all of that it really didn't start to hit me until 2021. This sponge doesn't really soak up a lot of product, which is good. I think that's what this little little spot is for. You know, so that it doesn't soak up too much of the foundation because a little was going a super long way, which isn't really the case with sponges. They usually soak up a lot of foundation. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, it was really, really rough for me mentally. Um, my depression, my anxiety, all time low, all time low in 2021. And I usually go through things like this. I go through a lot of up and ups and downs. It's been happening like for the past five years, but nothing like this past year um, to the point where I just, I, I couldn't even get on Instagram. I found myself like not even wanting to film, which is very strange for me because most of the time I'll use my YouTube videos or I'll make content to like escape from the sadness or like to escape from my stress, my anxiety and stuff like that. But I feel like it got so bad that I couldn't even use it as an escape. I couldn't even like turn on my camera. And then on top of that, once you're already feeling like that, when you really can't commit to your job or really can't focus on your job, you feel, like even more of a failure. So it just like piles on and piles on and it's like, you know the saying, when it rains it pours, yeah. Oh my God, did it pour in 2021, good Lord. Sunny days were very rare in 2021 for me. Side note, I'm going in with the new Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 5-in-1 Correcting Concealer. Doesn't that sound really great? I don't know what shade I am. I don't know if I'm five or 15. 
maybe 15. I don't typically love concealers that come in this packaging with like this little sponge and stuff, but I recently have fallen back in love with my Maybelline Age Rewind, so I'm not like too mad about it. Let's see. <laughs> they really get me with this color stay word. They can launch anything labeled color stay and I'm going to try it. It's just like that nostalgic, oh, this color is very, very light. Maybe I add a little tiny bit of this shade, just a hair. Oh, this is probably too dark. This is shade 40, but I'll mix it in. <laughs> you know what I've been wanting? I don't know if they make them, but I've been wanting a cooling concealer. I feel like I've tried one in the past. Well, no, all the cooling under eye products I've tried have been like correctors and creams and stuff. Does anybody know of a cooling concealer? Okay, this concealer dries very quickly. <sighs> Trying to buff that out. I feel like that concept would be great. I put some concealer on, it has like that cooling feeling, the caffeine, it would just like brighten up my under eyes, but like tighten it. Ooh, ooh, I like that. It's definitely a more of a matte finish. Like I said, it does dry very quickly, so you wanna work very quickly. It's definitely not like a serum-y concealer at all. It's very, very creamy. I feel like the coverage is pretty good. I like it. It's very brightening, and it just looks so nice. Very natural, super smooth, not too matte. It's like a, the perfect satin finish. I am into that concealer. I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the concealer I have on my eyes as like my eye primer and I'm gonna go in, this is so exciting. I'm gonna go in with the Disney Encanto palette in collaboration with Alamar Cosmetics. Guys, I know that this came out a few weeks ago, I just haven't been able to give it some love on my channel, but this is probably one of the most exciting launches of 2021. First of all, this packaging though, Oh my god, oh my god! The packaging is so freaking good. Can you believe I still have not seen the Encanto movie? I want to see it so bad. I need to see it, especially since Gabby collabed with it. I'm, dude, you guys need to check out the Alamar Cosmetics Encanto collection. I have never seen a team work so hard on something, okay? You guys need it. You guys need it. And look at this beautiful, amazing color story. It's just like the perfect vibe with the movie. Like, I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but like all the colors in the trailer, like this is just so wonderful. I picked up the palette, the two eyeliners, and the really, really beautiful brush collection. I had to get my hands on this. On these, look at this. <gasps> the little cotton candy bristles, soft touch packaging, I'm obsessed. I wanted to get the full collection, but I couldn't, so I just picked up what I could get, and I'm so excited. I was mainly excited to get the palette, of course. The look I wanna do with this is actually like more natural. I know, I know, I know the colors are like really intense and really fun, and I can do another look for you. Oh. I thought I got eyeshadow on my shoulder. I can do another look for you using like the greens and the pinks, but I really want to do like an everyday, like glamorous, yummy makeup look. And then I also want to use a little bit of the purple eyeliner to give it like a little pop. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Jaguar Parking and use that color in my crease. Taking that color on my lower lash line all the way across. Okay, now I'm gonna take Familia first, right here, which is a more cool toned, like, taupey kind of brown. And I'm gonna use the Encanto blending brush, it's so freaking cute. And I'm gonna create kind of like a halo eye with these shades. Gonna take this color on the outer corners and then blend it into the crease, but I'm avoiding the, the center of my lid. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of casita with my finger, right here, and I'm going to pop that on the center. <gasps> Beautiful. Such a freaking stunning shade. It's my favorite in the whole palette. It's not the most exciting shade because like all the greens and the blues, but there's something about it that's just like so magical and delicious. I love it. It's like a champagne taupe, but it has like so much dimension and it looks wet and foily. Even when you're applying it dry, it's just so good. Gonna blend that a bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade with the packer brush and apply that right here. I don't know how much of that I was recording. I was literally just talking up a storm right now and then I realized the little red dot wasn't on my viewfinder and I was like, ah, am I talking to myself? Yes, I was. I don't even know if you saw me apply my lower lash line. 
I don't know. But I do want to add a little bit of this purple eyeliner. I just don't want to add like a full wing. I want to add maybe like a little accent moment. Like a little, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I just did a little wing right here on the outside and then a little one right in the inner corners and that's it, that's it. But I had to get really close to the mirror so I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> but I also just um, curled my lashes and threw on my telescopic carbon black mascara from L'Oreal because I don't have a new mascara to try out. And yeah, the eyes are done and I actually love it. I really love the pop that the purple eyeliner added. I feel like it just gives it a different vibe. I really, really like it. And these eyeliners are so easy to use. Just like a little swipe a swipe, done. But moving on to the face. So I actually don't have a new bronzer to test out with you guys. I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna throw on NARS Laguna. I know. How long has it been since we wear NARS Laguna, guys? A long time. I'm gonna take my trusty dusty Lunar Beauty bronzer brush. I have been using this to death. I love it. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, I'm sorry, I get so distracted when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I cannot multitask, I can't. But not only am I, um, hoping for good things in 2022 and praying for change in a good way, a positive change. Cause I know I'm a triple fixed sign, so I'm not good with change. And I think that's what's really been affecting me this past year. But I'm really hoping that this is the year where I am not afraid of change and I can really adapt with change and, and change myself, you know, in, in good ways, in good ways and just better myself and help myself, help myself, because I feel like I really just stopped taking care of my mental health in 2021, because it just felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders. I still kind of feel that way. And I know the only way to get through it is with help. So I need to go back to my therapist. I need to like check out some medications and I've never been against it or anything. I've just always been afraid, but that's quite literally the story of my life. I need to go to therapy to help with all my fears and stuff, but because I'm so afraid of everything, it like stops me from bettering myself. And so it's like a constant struggle, um, constant battle back and forth. But I made a promise to myself that this year, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not gonna do what I did last year and just let it consume me. I'm not gonna do that. I can't, I cannot, I cannot do that for another 12 months, I can't. Depression is no joke, guys. It is a bitch to deal with and to live with. But as long as we have the, as long, like as corny as it sounds, as long as we have the will, even though it's hard, because I know finding the will when you're like in it is so hard, especially when you're feeling so low. I know so many times like, my friends would call me up like, oh my God, I'm, I'm really excited. I made some plans, let's go here. Or like, oh my God, are you in the mood to do X, Y, Z? And even though it was things that, I've, that I love doing, things I enjoy doing, even if it's just like to go grab a bite to eat at a restaurant or just like simple things that I enjoyed b before, I couldn't find the want. I couldn't find the, the want to want to. And I think that that's when, I'm going in with toasted cinnamon, by the way, classic. I don't have a new blush. <laughs> but I think that's what made me realize like, uh oh, we need to do something about this because if it's getting to the point where I don't even wanna get out of my bed, we need to do something about this. So uh, that is my mission in 2022, to do something about this. I don't know what that is yet. I mean, my first step is like looking into medication and therapy and stuff like that, of course. But I have to put myself as a priority this year because I don't wanna completely lose myself, you know? And I, I felt for a second there like I was on that path and it's a scary thought. You know, it is a really scary thought. I'm like speaking very vaguely here, but you get me. You get me. I don't wanna sit here and sob and scare everybody, so I'm just, you know, keeping it easy. Okay, I'm gonna pop on a little bit of the M Cosmetics Clarity Highlighter because even though I've used this a couple times, it is pretty new and it's so beautiful. So I just wanna pop on a little bit back here so that I could just like mirror the glow on my eyes. Like I love how they look together. Beautiful, stunning, marvelous, marvelous, darling. Let's throw on some highlight. No, some setting spray. I just recently got this like in a little Charlotte Tilbury PR box like for the holidays and I'm like, have I tried this before? I didn't have it in my collection but I don't even remember trying this. Oh, this is the airbrush. I have tried this. I remember saying that. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't know. My memory is shit, you guys know that? So we're trying it again. Oh, that's a strong scent. 
It has like a very florally, like luxury Chanel kind of scent. You know what I'm saying? I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I do feel it like tightening my skin though. Probably is really good for like making your makeup last. Adding a little more. Okay, for lips, I actually wanna try out this little e.l.f. combo. I got this package in the mail. It came with the Power Grip Primer, and I don't know the name of these lip products because the name is not on the packaging. That drives me crazy. Just the name of the product is on the packaging, but I don't know if it's like a lip stain, a lip gloss, I don't know. I swatch it and it feels like a, like a sheer lip stain almost with a little bit of a shiny finish, I'm not sure. But these are the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liners and I wanna try one out. Let's use light brown. I don't love the shape of these lip liners because they kind of have like that triangle hourglass like eyebrow shape situation, which I don't love for my lip liner, but we shall see. I guess a little triangle is good to like perfect the corners, but I don't know. Ugh, I'm just not used to this shape. Okay, that actually applied really nicely. Very, very smooth. The shape of it is a little weird, but I like the color a lot. Now I'm gonna go in with one of these, and I really like that they have a little window here so you can see what the color is without opening it. And I think I'm gonna go with the lightest one. You see, it's so sheer. It feels like a lip stain. Like if it's gonna set, and not move because there's like a not a sticky element to it but there's like a it doesn't feel slippy or like oily that just made the lip like a lot more juicy it made it way warmer which i'm okay with but it's not glossy like it's not thick i don't know how to explain how to explain this formula hold on one second be right back my dogs cannot get it together my dogs cannot keep it together i have been trying to film this outro for 20 minutes they seem to have settled but you never know with those cuckoos. You never know. Ugh. This lip product is giving me a weird taste in my mouth though, I'm not gonna lie. It has traveled and I'm feeling it on the back of my throat a little bit. But uh, that completes this look, guys. Let me know if you recreate it or something similar. I always, <coughs> I always love to see all your looks on Instagram when you tag me. But anyway, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys have an incredible, amazing 2022. Nothing but good things, like a lot of health and happiness above anything else. Health and happiness. I wish nothing but the best for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you to continue to like watch, comment, and support even though I've been a freaking mess for so long. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. You have no idea how much it means to me. And yes, to a positive 2022. I will be doing a full 2020, <clears throat> a full 2020. This thing is traveling down my throat. I don't know about this lip product. I'm doing a full 2022, 2021 favorites video. Of course I do it every year, but this year, I haven't gotten around to it, but I definitely will um, sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.